you're talking about the importance of health care records and how in this last year, as a result of complications of the Whipple surgery I had five years ago, I started bleeding internally and ended up in like five different emergency rooms. Every time I had to fill out all these forms. God knows if I feel or not correctly. If I mentioned all the medications I was taking, I don't know. At the time, I was kind of out of it. Uh, but I had to redo all those forms, go through interviews before I could get the first help I needed. In some cases, I was almost in shock. I couldn't stand up or sit down. Well, I was so short of blood, and yet I had to go through all that every time, over and over again, on a simple digital record that I could have controlled and made available to those doctors or the nurses in the emergency room. It might have gotten me help a lot sooner. It would have saved a lot of money and saved a lot of errors in, in, in the system. So having lived it personally, I've got a much better sense of what we're missing in our system and how much better we could be uh, caring for patients in our country if we had digital records. The patients could control, could be made available immediately to every, every caregiver who needed them when they needed it. I went through a procedure at the hospital that I didn't need to go through. One phone call, I told them the procedure wouldn't work. But because they didn't have that information, didn't think to call the other hospital to find out about my previous surgery, I went through a two-hour procedure that we need to go through. Uh, again, good examples of how efficiencies in, in the system could be obtained if we had good digital records were shared with one another. How we might not only speed up and make more efficient the care we provide for patients, how we might avoid errors in the system because we get a, sing, a single form that we know is accurate, that's available to every hospital, every caregiver. Think about the fact that we're mobile for it. We don't live in the same spot every day. We don't, you know, we, we, we don't end up in the same emergency room when we're going through a, a six-month episode like I went through. Uh, you know, I was in different states, different hospitals, and I wanted to literally spend more time in giving them a big background on what I've been through. When I really, what I really needed was blood. <laughs> I didn't need help. Did any of the facilities that you were at have digital records but not have access to your past records? In other words, were any of them electronic but just didn't have access to your digital records? I, I, I know that's correct. I know that, for example, at MD Anderson they had digital records, but they didn't necessarily have the digital records from John Hopkins. They didn't necessarily have the digital records from the little hospital I went on the Eastern Shore of Maryland or, the, or, or Sibley Hospital in Washington. Uh, the, the inability to share that information easily uh, leaves all of them at somewhat of a disadvantage and creates all these inefficiencies. And I, I assume it creates errors as well. And errors in decisions, errors that I'm sure hurt patients eventually. So it's, it's a big investment we need to make, but I think I think the payback is huge, not just in dollars saved, but in procedures we don't have to do that patients don't have to go through, in making sure we get the right medicine, the right treatments when you're in a facility that ought to have a good knowledge about your background without having to quiz you when, you're, when you can't even think straight. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's just such a glaring weakness. It's, a, you know, it's, it's the lowest hanging fruit I know in healthcare. Thanks. I've been speaking with Billy Tozen for CNET News. I'm Ina Freed.